Okay, we're ready to half some points. I'm going to do the big uh, little dog point first because it's easier to see. Um, so I'm going to heat up the pitch a little. Got my sterno can here. Ready into the can here. I'll just let that go. Hopefully it doesn't burst into flames on me. I'm going to heat up the back of the point too. So if you touch the hot pitch to something cold, it doesn't bind well to it. First thing, I'm just going to get some pitch on this point. It's a nice little blob in the back. And this is a great mixture. Thanks, Patrick, if you're out there watching. Okay, we've got some on the back. Heat that up a little. Also going to heat up the fore shaft. I'm going to use one of these little sticks. Gather up some pitch in here. Heat up the fore shaft and the pitch. I'm just going to cram some down here in the notch. Kind of get it a little bit on the, the fingers of the notch, the part that's going to hold the stone. Just a little. Kind of like any other glue you'd use. It, you get a good binding on the uh, surfaces to be glued. I heat this up some. Make sure the back end of the point is heated well. And I'm going to jam it in. And if you notice I left the notch a little wider than the point so I can adjust. I'm going to have to move the camera a little bit. I've seated the point into the notch. I leave the notch a little wide so there's enough space in there for the, the glue. And gives you an, a, a way to adjust the orientation of the point so it's straight in line with the, the fore shaft or the dark shaft or the arrow shaft or whatever it is. Um, if you make it too tight, you don't have much room to play with and there's not enough space in there to have the glue really do much of anything. This is an excellent mixture of pitch. I'm going to use one of these small sticks just to pull the pitch and put it where I want to, push it into the little crevices here. It's kind of hard to talk and do this at the same time. My pitch is flaring up around the rim here. No big deal, except it makes it look dangerous. Turn it every which way. I'm just going to push it, all this pitch, into these little crevices around the point. At this point it looks ugly as all can be, but I'm going to make it look nicer. Anyway, using a combination of the sticks and my fingers, I'm going to push that pitch in real nice. Checking the orientation of the point. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so far it's kind of a big mess looking thing, but what I'm looking to see is that it's straight in the foreshaft and straight this way as we go. As this cools, the stuff hardens up like a rock. And it's hard to move it so I have to keep heating it and moving it and it's a little tough to do with the camera working the camera and everything all at once Let's see if I can get a better angle for you here I'm just reheating what I'm going to do is in the fronts of these where this might impede penetration on a 
an animal is I'm going to trim down a little bit that uh, shoulder using a knife um, and then I'm going to make a ramp like on this side using the uh, pitch create a little ramp I'm just going to trim this leading edge and then cheat and use a steel knife and a little sharp flake would work just as well but This isn't about doing things traditionally so much as it is just doing it. You do this one a little. I don't think this got trimmed properly. Okay. Anyway, we'll build a ramp now of some pitch. It still needs to be pressed in better all around, and I'm going to do that in a minute. Okay, I've gotten a nice little blob on here. I'm going to build up the ramps now. Heat up the point. Again, you don't want the hot pitch to touch a cold surface. It'll just it won't stick well. A little blob there. I'll come back to that in a second. A little bit there. Just make the transition from stone to wood smoother. I'll pack this on here a little bit. Heat it up, press it down. Same for the other side. I'm going to use this. I'm going to wet it first. Use this stick as like a little rolling pin. cool for a second. You have to get the timing right. If you try to do it when it's too warm, it just sticks to everything. Take some of that excess off. Smooth it out. Make a nice transition. See how it's looking spin test wise. It's not bad. It looks pretty symmetrical. Okay, this is pretty much complete at this point. Um, Got it nice and smoothed out over the transition between the stone and the wooden fingers of the foreshaft. You just heat it up. Make it glossy and then just let it cool without touching it. Make it nice and smooth. So that's that. What we're going to do now is wrap the back with sinew about that far, about an inch or an inch and a half or so, and then we're going to wrap the sinew around this part here to finish off this this bottle duck point. I've got some back strap sinew. It's real long. Elk or deer, I forget which, I think this is just white-tailed deer. But I'm going to take the longest pieces I can for the wrapping. And uh, I'm actually going to wet them by chewing them up a bit. I'm going to use some high glue from the supermarket, Knox Original Unflavored Gelatin. It's one of the strongest high glues you can get. It's really well. As I'll show you, I'm going to chew up some of the sinew and throw a pinch of the Nox in my mouth and use my mouth as the mixing bowl for, uh, for the high glue and the sinew.